16th in the nation. How many of you know that? We are 16th in the nation when it comes to sex trafficking. We don't want to be that anymore. That's why we're sponsoring legislation in the House and the Senate. And we're saying to all of the predators that you will go to jail if you continue to disrupt our young folks' lives by way of exploitation, you will go to jail and you will be there for a very long time. Our efforts in the Attorney General's office as a law enforcement agent and law enforcement agency, we have gone after the predators. We have gone after those who would traffic young women and men who would violate the law. But let's be honest, there's a reason we have a trafficking epidemic in our state and in our country. It's because people are willing to purchase, they're willing to purchase this slave labor, this forced labor. We will not eradicate the trafficking scourge from this state or from this country until we change our culture about how our culture views women. We cannot, we cannot continue to treat women as objects who are there for the satisfaction and pleasure of men. This must change. It must change. As we all know, this is a very, very serious, silent epi epidemic in the state of Missouri. But we're going to shine the light. We're going to shine the light on exploitation. We're going to shine the light on those individual predators who think that they can get away with it. We're going to tell them again, not on our watch. Our past does not determine our future or who we are. It does not. And I just want every victim, every survivor to know that you are a ruby. I don't care what they say you were before, you are a ruby, you are valuable. And I love you. God bless you. Thank you for your time.